Alright, hey guys, Fiddle Ferret here, and welcome back to just another little vlog thing. I haven't done one in in a little while, it's been like a week or two, and I thought I'd just do one today, it's the weekend, and um, I thought I'd just talk about a couple things. These vlogs, if you haven't watched one of these before, they're pretty much just me rambling about my channel or about things I'm doing, and uh, they're usually pretty short, but um, today I figured I'd just kick it off with... Um, well, that's just some YouTube messages. I actually got a really nice message this morning uh, on YouTube. Uh, it was funny because, you know, YouTube isn't always the nicest place in the world. And uh, sometimes you get comments that aren't so nice and that just comes with the territory. But all it takes is just one really... And I got a really nice uh, message from someone, um, I believe by the name of May, I believe is, is how you say it. And uh, she basically just sent a message, you know, saying, you know, she really likes my content and she likes my first takes and just giving me, giving me some, some suggestions on what she likes and what she thinks I could do. And guys, seriously, I love messages like that. I love reading your comments. I love reading suggestions. I mean, I like reading, you know, what you maybe don't like as much or what you think you'd like to see in the future. And a lot of what she suggested was things that I have thought about or wanted to do for a while now. And I do plan to do at some point um, when, I, when I'm able. And uh, it's just, I love getting comments like that. So uh, it's just one of those things. I just want to give a quick shout out to her because it was a really cool message. And uh, I'm glad her and more people seem to be enjoying uh, the reviews and stuff. My channel content has like, slightly changed over time. Um, I haven't had as much boxings. Like when my channel first started, it was like primarily unboxings. Um, cause I didn't really think I was good enough to do any sort of manga reviews or discussions. And I don't, I'm not even like some sort of like great reviewer because that's almost not even what I do. I just like to talk about manga and what I read and talk about, you know, what I thought of, of, of a volume I read and like kind of just share that out there with other people who are interested as well. And one thing, um, I kind of want to do a little bit more because I, I want to get a little bit more critical, I guess, in my videos a little bit. Um, I guess I was nervous a little bit sometimes to say, like, bad things about manga, or about series that maybe I just don't like as much, so I'd like to be... Not that I haven't been honest before, I always say honest things in my reviews, or in my first takes, but I don't always say everything I thought about it. I, I try to, like... I try to like say like nice things about every volume, and although there probably is nice things about every volume, I don't always say the things I really didn't like about it. So I'd like to start being a bit more critical, because um, for whatever reason, I'm nervous about like criticizing like certain manga because I just I just didn't want to like I, I didn't want to do that. But like like the volumes like I think I might I don't even know if I ever did a review of like Clay Lord, but Clay Lord was like a series where I was like uh, I really didn't like it, and I've never read it since. So I'd like to be a little bit more honest with reviews like that, and I'd like um, to expand my content, which brings me sort of um, to my next subject and then it'll kind of bring me to my next one after that and so visual novels it's something I do it's something I have a lot of fun doing and uh, this is kind of what brings me back to that first thing about messages and it's because sometimes I suck at reading and it stinks because what I hate about it is sometimes I do really good um, sometimes I do really good through a whole series and it'll be great the voices will be good my reading will be good and sometimes it'll be late at night or for whatever, like, there's some games, and this is what leads me to this one here, with Panzer Madel's The Tank Dating Sim game. I had a lot of trouble reading the text in that game for some reason. I don't know if it was the background, the way the text looked. Um, I, I was having trouble reading it fluidly, and it was annoying to me, and it, it makes me sort of, like frustrated at myself because that has been a series that for me has boomed recently and so a lot of people started playing the game but I'd already played the whole thing so a lot of people found my playthrough of it and were like wow this guy's really shit at reading and I'm like oh why of all the content they have to see is the one where I had a lot of fun playing that game but I know I didn't do a very good job reading that um sometimes I'm just I, I struggle in general and I'm not as fluid as I'd like to be but in that playthrough in particular it, it, it just it didn't flow very well um, between the voices and trying to discern the text I just couldn't get into a good rhythm ever with that game so um, it's funny because the last episode of that series um, episode 7 um, has like this huge spike in views like it's crazy it's gonna become one of like my top few videos and it's a video where I did a really shit job at reading 
and people let me know about it and that's fine because it, it's true it's just it's one of those funny things where I was just thinking about I was like why is like this video where I'm like man it didn't go so well but whatever it's just a stupid tank dating sim game and it's gonna end up being one of my most viewed videos ever and I didn't do a very good job in it so that's so stupid but that brings me on to my last subject I thought I'd just ramble on about today and I can't quite tell if I'm in focus or not on my camera and I'm not gonna get up and change it so I'm sorry if I'm like half out because that would be really annoying to watch but my last subject I wanted to get to was about where is my manga collection video so I brought this up in probably every vlog I've done and at this point I'm I'm trying I'm so sorry I you, you guys have no idea like I have because it's one of those things where like when I have like a video like Panzer Matles that has like this sudden bump of success I sudden get a new flood of subscribers people find on my channel um, if people like manga they end up finding my manga stuff and the first thing they look for is that manga collection video where is that video and so I, I always get comments um, or messages saying like you know where where's your manga collection video why haven't you done one so I've addressed it a few times and for so just if you're new or just, just rehash this real quick I haven't done one yet because I will be moving sometime soon. <laughs> and so I, I do that because sometime soon it's it's difficult when you when you're buying a place because lots of stuff has to happen. And so the ball is rolling and it's it's getting fairly close in my mind, but fairly close could literally be like another two to three months. I don't think it's gonna take that long, but it could. And so let me just show you this real quick. So don't mind the mess and don't mind the shakiness of the camera right now, but these are boxes. And so look at my, I read other books too. So these are boxes. Almost every single one of these boxes is full of manga that has been put away because I don't have any more shelf room and I have been anticipating that I will be moving at some point. There's a lot of manga in there. And if we turn this way, you will see that that is also another really big box full of manga and if you look up there there's another tote full of manga so so sadly right now my manga collection video isn't really plausible it would be hard anyway because I don't have enough shelf room for all of my manga and so what I've been waiting for and what I really 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 want to do because frankly I haven't counted my manga in a long time because some of this has been in boxes for a while and after a while you just kind of stop counting um, I, I know I am well over a thousand. <laughs> I, last time I counted, I will I, I will save some stuff for the actual video, but I think I was I was a few hundred above, and I haven't counted my manga in well, well over a year, and so I'm excited to do that, and so. I'm as excited as you guys are to do the manga collection video. I hope it doesn't take too much longer. Um, in reality, I should really stop putting a time on this. I would think um, a month and a half, two months at most, I should be down there, have some shelves set up, and be able to record it and put it out. It's gonna be a long video, and I'm super excited about it because I want to do it so bad. And I have a bunch of anime I want to show off. Um, show off, yeah, I'm gonna show off. And I have some um, some cool stuff. I've got a cons and signed stuff I'd like to show you guys in videos. So that's all coming, and so I hope you can stay excited for it like I am. And so we're gonna get to it it's gonna take a little while but we will get there um, as you can see it just like this this manga is like all right here beside me in boxes I hate having it in boxes it kills me inside I hate it I don't want it in boxes I want it out on shelves I'm gonna go buy like uh, I'd like to get some really nice shelves but I'm not, I don't have the money to buy really nice shelves like, this is a really nice shelf but I'm not gonna have money to get like three of these so what I'll probably end up doing is like going to Walmart and getting those like $30 five shelf ones like like made of like painted plywood that you have to like assemble and they never quite look like they did out of the box but once I get a ton of manga on there 
as long as the manga doesn't like crush them, then it'll be really cool and I can't wait to show you guys. And so that is it. That is my rambling. I talked a little bit longer than really I thought I was going to, but I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thanks again for all the people that leave nice comments. And like I've said, um, I, I, I'm, I'm a small enough channel. Maybe I don't really ever expect this. Someday, maybe I won't be able to read all of the comments, but right now I do. I read all of the comments. I read all of my messages. Um, you can follow me on Twitter. You can message me on Twitter. I will absolutely see you there. I've only got, you know, I think under a hundred followers on Twitter. So I interact with some people on Twitter here and there. It's like probably the easiest way to like interact with me one on one because I mean, it's like the smallest platform and it's really easy to message me on there. So if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, I'll try to remember to link that in the description. I think it's at ferret fatal because apparently fatal ferret was stolen the bastards. But anyway, guys, I'm a fiddle ferret and I'll see you back on the prowl next time. Bye.